Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to do a little hunt. We're going to try to search down those McFarlane figures and see what type of Mortal Kombat figures are out there. Um, we're going to see any DC figures, uh, some new WWE figures. We're going to see if any of those are out, um, you know, because February 3rd passed. <clears throat> so hopefully some of the new stores will have some, some new things. We're going to try to see any of the new Venom Wave that just came out, uh, Hot Topic. See if Hot Topic has any of those left. We're going to just search for all types of things. But if you're new to this channel, you like this type of content, I talk about video games. I talk about our favorite movies and TV shows. We unbox figures. So if you like any of that, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell because you want to be updated when a video like this drops. So hope you guys enjoy this one. And so... With that being said, we're going to be right back. So, guys, um, I went in Target and really had anything. I also went inside uh, GameStop. They didn't have anything in there. I went in Hot Topic. There was music. I uh, picked up a few things, but I'm going to wait to the end of the video. And there's also something else that I picked up at a random store. Uh, they didn't have anything in there, but there was one thing that was like, What? So I picked it up, so when I get back to the house, I'll show that off, but in the meantime, we're gonna hit up a Best Buy, see what Best Buy has in there. Uh, no no luck on the new McFarlane figures, so we're gonna try, but we'll be right back, guys. So some of the same stuff from last time. Absolutely nothing changed besides these two boxes being in front of me. God damn it, that sucks. There's some random Toy Story stuff. Uh, Let's actually see what's over here. You found everything okay? Um, I guess. I kind of told him I really got it. Um, Quick question, who do you have at home for internet? I like this thing, but it's all beat up inside. Look at this. I think it's already coming apart. <laughs> um, like I said, there's not really much in here. Um, oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'll get that, but it's pretty dope. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna look around, see what else we can find. Probably check out their Funko Pop section, do some random stuff. So, Pop we'll section. Right uh, some of the same comments we seen the last time we were here. This car doing pretty cool. New Mandalorians. Um, Poe. A little real slow for you guys. Some rows down there. Um, like I said, guys, it's not really <laughs> much to choose from. It's the same old model every house. Oh, look at there's some more right here. There's a Puma, a uh, Grey Gargoyle. But nothing. Oh, some more pops over here. Look at this. Some random comments. Same pops from the last time, but like I said, we're gonna hit up another GameStop, see what else we can find over there. So we'll be right back, guys. Guys, my hands are fucking cold, but we're outside our Walgreens, so let's see what else we can find in there. So, guys, I went in Walgreens, they had absolutely nothing, not even worth filming in there. So, like I said, I'm just gonna go to GameStop, see what they have in there. Hopefully, something else, man, because <laughs> right now. This video is starting to be a bust. So, and hopefully we find something. And I, I don't know, they must have sensed that I was coming today because there's absolutely nothing. And like I said, the last time I was, I was in GameStop, they told me everything was releasing today or the third. Guess what? It's the fifth or the sixth. I don't know what today day is, but it's the fifth or the sixth. And there's absolutely nothing. So we're just gonna go to GameStop, see what we can find in there. So <laughs> we'll be right back, guys. So once again, we're out here at GameStop. Hopefully, please, GameStop, have something for me, please. <laughs> but we're gonna go see what's inside. So we'll be right back, guys. Oh, so this is what they got. The same old stuff. This is actually pretty new. This Dava. 
It's some Lando's. Just a new I'm one of Dragon Prince. 007 Rickwood Crystal. It's a two stone white herb. Um, like I said, some new Pennywise Lightfoot. Tsunami. Pretty sick. Like I said, just gonna look around and see what else they got. So GameStop was a bus also. Uh, unfortunately, no new figures at all. The same old stuff that I always record all the time. <sighs> Man. I actually don't know what I, I should have just recorded a hot topic because that's where I had all the stuff at. But my hit up two more Walgreens. So like I said, may hopefully those Walgreens got some new stuff in there. I highly doubt it. Um, but if anything, we'll be right back. So once again, uh, Walgreens had absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm literally trying, man. I'm trying. I'm literally trying to give my money away to you guys. Put some products in your stores, damn it. But like I said, probably gonna hit up one more Walgreens. If we don't find anything. I absolutely have no idea what I'm gonna do. I do wanna do like, I wanna go to like a, uh, I, you know what, when I get to the house, I'll tell you guys, so. Hey guys, so I made it back home. Unfortunately, this was, <laughs> it's kind of a rough hunt. I mean, like I said, I didn't wanna go in the stores and just record the same thing you guys see all the time. That would probably make a real boring video, to be honest with you. And I kind of don't like it when I see, you know, um, not calling anybody out, but I kind of don't like it when I see, you know, YouTubers go into the store and just record the same things over and over again. I like to, to keep everything fresh and new. So, um, so, but what I did went in there, like I said, I went into Hot Topic. I picked up a few things in there. I didn't record because, you know, the, the music was kind of too loud. And, um, you know, I, I'm not trying to have another video where it's just me just recording and just having music on top of it. I think that's kind of boring, you know. Um, but, I, like I said, I wanted to keep a few things surprised because some of the things I picked up were pretty amazing. And um, I can't wait to show you guys. So, we're just going to get right to it. Um, so, starting with the Venomized Wave. Like I said, I did pick up a few of those things in there. And one of them was Venomized Punisher. So here he is right here. Um, pretty cool. Um, one thing I did notice was um, the back. They have like some of the older pops on here. Uh, like Venomized Groot, Venomized Thanos, Venomized Daredevil, Venomized X-23, and Venomized Rocket. Unfortunately, I never picked up Thanos. I mean, I could find him. I, find, I see him everywhere or any of the storms. So I never picked those ones up or X-23. I wanted to skip the Daredevil and group. But since um, like on my back wall, I have like some venomized wall, uh, venomized pops going on back there. So I probably have to pick those up because I'm a completionist. But here's the venomized Punisher once more. And then I'm going to just take them. Boom. People say long hair is cool, but it's really not. It just gets in your mouth. It gets in the way. I mean, I really I'm tired of my long hair. But here he is right here, just up close of him. Pretty, actually, it's my first time actually looking at it. I like how he has the teeth as uh, as the, and with the submachine gun. That's pretty cool, actually. Never noticed that. Uh, but here's, like, the whole pop all together. He got dope. Punisher slash Venom on his chest and on his back. He has some white going down on his face uh, for his mouth or whatever. With super white eyes. He is, since he is Marvel, he is a bobblehead. Um, I don't know, I'm really sure how I like bobbleheads like that, but here's like the, the belt. It's supposed to be like guns or whatever, so. Pretty cool pop. I like that. I like that a lot. Another one I picked up was Venomized Captain Marvel. So she's pretty cool, also. Um, 
I don't know why the pop is open. There was a dude in front of me too. He was like look, looking at the pops. He was taking forever and I just like, you know, I was waiting. I was trying to be polite, wait for him to finish, but he was taking forever. He kept looking at the pops and he was deciding. Uh, it was funny too, cause he had three Ultrons. So uh, I don't know what, what he was trying to do there. Um, but I think he was looking to see like which box is better probably. I'm not sure what he was doing, but he was taking a long time. So I, um, uh, my, my Hot Topic don't have baskets or whatever. So I told her, I was I told the lady, the cashier, I was like, hey, you know, I put some of the uh, pops that I picked up. I was like, hey, can you hold this? And then I went in front of, in front of him and I started grabbing some things. You know, it's like, you know, if I'm being polite, I'm waiting for you to finish. You should be polite, too, and also step to the side, you know, so you're not. So other people can shop, too, man. You're not just there by yourself. I do that all the time. When I see somebody behind me, I step to the side. So, you know, we both could pick up whatever we want. You just don't stand in front of the, the whole pop section. But <laughs> here's the Captain Marvel. That's just a, enough of me ranting. This one on the back has four of the new venomized pops so that's interesting i wonder why the punisher didn't but i am taking her out of the box so you guys can get a better look and she does come with a stand which is pretty cool because as you can tell she's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard to um stand up by herself so I this pop is actually amazing. There's a like like a lot of detail on it. Looking on that, you know, there's Captain Marvel's whole suit or whatever. But like they got some gold and blue going around her hand. You got her cool looking like tail on her back, and then you know the mohawk and just look at that. That's cool, man. I, I like this pop. I mean, like I said, I'm not a huge Captain Marvel fan, but man. Uh, this is pretty cool, actually. Uh, makes me want to pick up the Storm also. So, there's the Captain Marvel. Um, and then my two favorite pops out of that whole wave is the Venomized Ultron. I really like this pop, too. I like all of them, but man, the next two pops are, are my, probably my favorites out of the whole wave. Uh, here he is right here. It's just Ultron. It's Venomized. I mean, how could you go wrong on it? There's not really much to it besides like the Venom logo on his chest. You know, he's got this sick looking grin on him. I love like the gray going all around, the red eyes, the red paint on him. Um, nothing much to it besides that. But man, the cool looking teeth or whatever pretty sick here's one more shot of him just going all around i i still i still need to buy one of those uh rotating uh things i've been dragging on it i probably I might actually buy one after this video uh, and last but not least um uh, my favorite one of all of them which is pretty heavy actually and this is it's actually sick oh my god but here is the Doctor Strange Venomized. Oh my God. The head is pretty cool. You know, he got the cool Doctor Strange outfit. He's throwing up the Doctor Strange signs or whatever. Um, you know, the yellow. He got the regular. I love, I love one. This, and this is actually pretty sick. So he got one leg as normal. And then the other leg as Venom. Venom's like that's pretty sick guys. I love this. Holy crap. And then here's the, the bottom of it. So he's gonna be easy to stand up if you decide to take him out of the box, but I'm not. Um uh, actually with this whole wave, I might mess around and just buy another set of these guys because man, this is pretty cool. I would love to have these out of box. Um if I had more room, I would love to take all of my venom pops out. Uh, but unfortunately, I really don't have the room. Um, you know, that's the struggle with every collector. It's just not having the room for anything. So, um, but that's not all. That's uh, that's all from the Venom Wave. Uh, I know there's still the Groots out there that I had to pick up. 
And I believe that's about it from the Venom. I'm not really sure. I might have to double check on that. But that was all that I picked up from Hot Topic. I went in there and I was looking around. And luckily I did. I couldn't not believe it. And here was the Derby. So My Hero Academia, Derby, Ben Presto. And I had to pick. I cannot wait to, put, to pick him apart. And I really needed some My Hero Villains because only have that one Shigaraki and he's not really doing it and it's the McFarlane Shigaraki so he's got I need somebody else to put some like pictures going together and last but not speaking of Shigaraki yes they had this bad boy too so I was so happy to pick this bad boy up I was just about to curse that's so I'm happy I am but man, he's going to be sick, so I put him together. And this is different from the McFarlane figure, right? Because of this right here. That eye, baby. I don't know. See, you see how horrible I am? I was pointing it this way instead of at the main. <laughs> but man, oops. Right here is that eye. So, I'm going to put... Oh, wait. Hold up. I'm not done just yet. So like I was saying earlier in the video, um, so I went into this store. It's a brand new store in my in my mall. Um, they had some cool figures in there, but it wasn't too much. I didn't film in there. You know, it's a brand new store, so I'm not just gonna just go in there and just film, especially if I don't know the cashiers and don't talk to any of them. You know, uh, it's gonna be real awkward if he tells me, hey, you know, please don't string, uh, don't record or whatever. Um, but like I said, I did pick up a few things in there and one of them, there was one I, I seen, I was like, there's no way I'm not walking out with that. And this is the diamond Marvel's, I'm not sure. It's not diamond. It's Marvel select gambit. No, there was no way I was not walking out with this gambit. He's pretty sick. He got some cool looking pole. He got the cards. Um, he got two hands to go with him. Pretty sick. Um, I'm not sure about the face sculpt on him, but he's pretty sick. Here's like the back. I guess um has two other uh, things to go with him. Right here, the storm and the cyclops. Uh, but uh, I probably won't keep the box. Uh, it does come with a little diorama thing, so definitely like that, so I could pose a lot of uh, my figures with him. Uh, I won't keep the box. I know there is a Mezco uh, Gambit that I would definitely love to pick up, so um, I can't wait for that thing. I believe it comes out in May, so I'm definitely going to pre-order that. But as of right now, I'm just going to put these figures together, so... Don't go anywhere. So we'll be right back, guys. I don't know why uh, this Gambit. So it's a cool figure. I do love it. I'm not it. Uh, you know what? I like it. I'm not going to say I love it. Um, the pole that he, that he comes with, it's kind of hard for him to grip. It just slides right out. Um, I might have to mess around with the other hands to see if the other hands could grip it better and tighter. But the pole is uh, pretty cool. But I'm just going to leave that out for while I'm showing showing off the figure. So, um, He comes with three set of cards. They come, they're come, they like kind of blast or whatever. So here's like the first one, which is the bigger one. Um, I do like this. Try to get up close shot of it. Uh, I do like it. It's just all aces or whatever. And then the second one is kind of like a medium one where it's the uh, same thing. Um, and then there's a smaller one, which he could probably grip better. But here's like a smaller one, just a one piece. So if you just want to mess around with the poses, there it is right here. But here's the whole figure. The face is uh, actually okay. It's not the best. Um, you know, the art articulation on him is not that great. There's not really much to him. Um, just, just the classic or whatever. This figure is more... You could definitely tell it's more for just like, uh, uh, not posing, but it's more for like, for show. It's definitely not the type of picture that you want of just 
or figure that you just want to just like mess around with because that's what he's not definitely for sure um he, he i mean the figure is okay uh i love the hair just like you could just tell this is just classic gambit here's the back um you know got the cut off on the bottom of it um i really not feeling the chest kind of i feel like they could have did better with that um you know the, like the classic boots or whatever uh everything else is okay i kind of wish there was like more red in his eyes it's kind of like plain or whatever but the face is okay but besides that it's a it's okay figure especially i only paid you know 30 bucks for it so it wasn't that bad uh here's the sugar rocky but to me this is actually pretty sick so you guys all the hands going around um you know you guys that weird gripping claw which is actually sick um you definitely don't want to get grabbed with that hand um the eye actually makes it better because it's actually pretty freaky so he's, he's kind of hidden but it's the it's, it's gonna be how you pose it um to where you could definitely see it but it is kind of freaky i wish the like they they actually shown it off a little bit better with the eye um so that you you know like you could tell like there's an eye there like more make this um the like more redness in the eyes but it's actually pretty sick you know he got the hands going all around him he has this cool um thing that attaches to his back you know so and then here's the whole body the, pretty sick guys like a whole 360 shot i do love the stands you guys like something written on it you can't really tell but it's pretty cool i do love this this um van presto and then here's the dabby and the dabby is actually pretty sick itself i like the cloak uh the detail on him is actually pretty amazing you know he got the rip face he has kind of like a, a grinning smile you know he has the um you know just you could just tell this is like the the from the anime just like man that's the thing that's why i love these bad presto figures because they look just like the anime characters he got the crazy hair that looks pretty cool i do love that um you know that's really about it then the here's the back of him just a cool little jacket to go with it it's actually pretty sick you know, just him, like, walking forward or whatever. It's actually, man, I love this figure, man. This is pretty dope. Um, I am going to try to get the other ones with it. I know there's a Shata Izawa and then there's a Deku. So I'm going to try to get my hands on those. But as of right now, so, what, like, earlier in the videos, you guys noticed, I was talking about planning to go to a comic shop. So it was funny because when I was in the store, that was there was a random dude in there. He was looking at some... Um, some WWE figures and um he told me he was like hey man you should check out this store and I'm like eh. it's pretty cool because I told him you know when he was right there like he's like man they got this figure they got this figure and I was like yeah man it's pretty cool you know and I not knowing him or just just me saying that he's like yeah man so he kind of like you know we kind of uh you know talked a little bit he was like man you know you should go check out this this store I was like yeah I heard of it uh, I want to check it out. Um, he was like, yeah, man. So he gave me the card or whatever. He's like, yeah, man, go check it out. So I was like, cool, cool, cool. So that's probably what I'm going to do in the next video is I'll go over there, go check that place out. I'm going to not say the, the name of it because I'll just leave it um, kind of uh, mysterious or whatever. But it's going to be an amazing video. So, But that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Hope you guys look forward to the next video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know when the next video gets uploaded. But that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And see you guys later. Oh, by the way, um, that one person who disliked my video, it's cool or whatever. You know, it's fine. You could dislike it or whatever. I don't know why you disliked it, but... You know, it's just Funko videos. They're just talking about our favorite figures. I don't understand why would you dislike that. But, hey, that's all. it's all fine with me, you know. Uh, you know, I'm only a, a, a YouTuber with only 50, 
53 subscribers. So if you want to dislike my video, you want to hate on me already, and it's like I got nothing to really hate on, um, you know, I mean, be my guest. But you have a wonderful day, especially you, whoever disliked that. You especially. Have a wonderful day and see you guys.